Started smoking again? What? No. Then what's up with you? You sound like you've run a marathon on a diet of chip butties and 50 a day. Oh, I'll ignore that smart ass remark. You get your lip off your mum, you do. How's mum doing? Yeah, she's okay. She's all right. Liam, son, couldn't you have worn something normal? Something a bit less tragic? It's just. You know, I thought you might meet some gorgeous girl or a fella. Dad, I'm not gay. Well, I don't know, do I? I never see you with anyone. Just because I've not brought a girl around doesn't mean I've not had girlfriends, Dad. You've had a girlfriend? Yes. Oh, damn. That's a tenor I owe you, ma'am. <laughs> Come on, then. Give us all the gory details. Dad! Oh, uh, no, not <sighs> names. How many? I really don't think this is an appropriate uh, father-son conversation, uh, Dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's none, or one that's lasted a week tops. That's... Th yeah, yeah, trained psychologist you're talking to, boy. Can't pull the wool over these blinkers. Dad, you took an evening class at college. You quit because it clashed with Top Gear. It's just... Oh, no. You're hardly going to pull dressed like that, are you? Jesus, Dad. Liam, son. Women want a bloke who's rugged, muscly, you know, or, or funny. They don't want someone who looks like they've been held back their whole life at primary school. It's going to be a great day this, isn't it? Proper father-son time. Oh, where are you off to now? Getting ready for the train. Well, it's three minutes yet. Yeah, but in this thing, never mind the gap, it'll be more like the final round of Gladiators. <laughs> oh, I remember Gladiators. You remember Jet off the Gladiators. Yeah. Your mum looked like Jet of Gladiators. Long mind, particularly on our holiday in Cyprus when she wore that cosy. Oh, things I don't need to know, Dad. What are you supposed to be, anyway? <laughs>
I'm so sorry about him. Coast's clear, though, if you want to do a runner. Just don't call the police. He's harmless, mostly. So long as he's sober and there's no karaoke. <laughs> you look nice. You look great as River Song. Thanks. Well, I'm out with mates after this. They didn't want too many stairs. The um, Cyberman outfit's good, though. Did your little brother or sister make it? No, it, it's good. It's great, honest. Um, the hat, the tin foil, it's shiny. Really shiny. Me, if I'm getting ready last minute, I end up looking homeless, so you, you've done a great job. Bollocks. Okay, how about we change the subject and not talk about the costume? Are those condoms? Hmm? Those. Are they condoms? Oh, these, yeah. We're sort of made on a budget. Did a blue Peter, so I used whatever I could find. They're out of date, so... Supposed to be techie screens. Control panels. How the Cybermen looked in the Patrick Troughton days. Does it look like techie screens? Looks like condoms really nice. Look, I know these last few minutes haven't exactly been normal, but I don't want you going away thinking I'm some weird, creepy guy. I'm not. We've all done things we regret. My list of embarrassing things is as long as the M4. Condoms are high up on that list as well, probably around Port Talbot or Swansea. <laughs> look, I know they're distracting, but could you look at me and not the rubbers? Godmother. A fairy godmother who's had a verbal warning, two written warnings, and is about to be chucked out on his ass. I was just trying to help. Trying to help? We're trying to have a laugh at my expense, like always. Well, I was under the impression you don't do too well with the opposite sex. He thinks the tinfoil and cardboard that gives it away. So I thought I'd just break the ice for you. They're the hard part of the way. Got the impression? Because you're not sure, are you, Dad? When it comes down to it, you don't know an awful lot about me, do you? Considering you fed me, changed me, watched me grow up. I like Doctor Who and comics and stuff. And what else? Hmm? What about my hobbies? Go on, say anything. Anything you like. This is where I usually pull blokes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> You're kind of weird, you know. Good weird, not serial killer weird. Mm, I'm a bit of both. Are you okay? I'm stuck. Oh. Oh. This is awkward. You and the door seem to have an intimate moment. I'll leave you two alone now. No, no, please don't! Hi. Hi. Do you think you could sort of help me out? <laughs> Do you mind? Sort of doing it now. Well, parents are embarrassing. Part of their job description. Drunk dancing at weddings, bringing out the baby photos when you bring a girl round. Only dad doesn't know when to stop. 
He's the class clown, but he left school 40 years or more ago. Jen? Hmm? Yeah, sorry, I, I am listening. Just um, looking for a copy of Horror of Fan Rock. So... Uh, yeah, sorry, um, just concentrate on this for a second. Ooh, there we go. Ah. Signed by Tom Baker and Louise Jameson. How much do you reckon it's worth? Um, I don't know. Hmm, me neither. I guess I've been with baked beans for a while. Your dad's not that bad. My mum, I've no idea where she is. Not seen her in years. Dad bought me up. Mum ran off with a milkman. Half the reason why I'm dairy intolerant. This might sound obvious, but have you tried talking to him? I've tried talking to my dad for the last 23 years. He never takes anything I say seriously. I wanted to chat to someone. Kids are bullying me. There's a girl I like and don't know what to say to her. I talked to Mum. That's her job. I've always liked soaps. I think it's because when my day's been rubbish, I watch them to remind myself that there's someone worse off than me. The thing is, I've not just been watching them recently. My whole life's been turning into one. Talk to your dad. Find him, sit him down, and tell him exactly what you've told me. If I do that, he'll think I want money off him. So grab his attention somehow, so he knows you need a proper father-son chat. Any ideas? Yeah. Might do. Is this thing on? Do I have to press a button or something? Sorry, sorry. That's on then. Sorry about that. Hi, Dad. Uh, everyone, this is my dad. His name's Lloyd. Say hi, give him a wave. Hi, Lloyd. So, the reason I wanted to do all this is so we could have a chat, just the two of us. Man to man, father and son. There's loads of people here. Ignore them. They've got their pints and there's a woman on Sky Sports with her boobs out. They'll be fine. Right, what was I going to say? I had this rehearsed and everything. That's it. I love you, Dad. I do. I bloody love you. But... And this is a big but. You're childish, self-absorbed, and you were never there for me growing up. Actually, no, scratch that, that was harsh. You'd pick me up after nights out, do the DIY, give me money when mum wasn't around. But we never did any father-son stuff. We never had a chat over a pint or a kickabout down the park. <laughs> You're rubbish at football. Anything then, a bike ride, throw a frisbee. We never did any of that. And that's fine, really it is. But not now. Not with everything that's going on. What am I going to do, Dad? Keep it all bottled up? Because that's what I've been doing. Wearing a smile, putting on a brave face. If I need to cry or scream or break something, I go back to the flat. But I can't keep doing that. Plus, I, I need a new table. I, I've been eating off trays at the moment. I need someone I can talk to. Someone I can have a rant at. That's why I bought the Comic Con tickets. So me and Mum could have the day together, so I could talk to her, tell her how I feel. Maybe that would have made it better. Maybe that would have been better for both of us. <laughs> but you ended up with second best. I get it. No, Dad, that's not what I... Your, what man, I... your man knew all about the money. We let you have what change we could, so you never went without. Dad, wait, will you? Hey. Go, go after him, my love. Just... You gotta... You gotta build some bridges. 
with him what you can. Your dad is still alive, Sam. You forget that when you you grow up, you, your parents they they grow up. You saw your dad last week. He's just gotta, just gotta go and spend the time with him. What was what you can. You said you hoped he kicked the bucket so you could get all the money and don't have to shop a little anymore. Lovely. How are you? I'm good. How are you getting on? Oh, same as last time, really. A little woozy. It's like I got a rotten hangover with no recollection of last night. It's like I'm back in my twenties. <sighs> Nothing I lie down won't help, though. Anyway, how was your day? Seen many Doctor Who folk? It's great. Really great. I've got loads of photos and autographs. I'll show you when I'm round later. Great. Hey, make sure you get that John Barrowman's. Oh, he's a lovely man. Great teeth. And he's gay. Oh, I do like the gays. Yeah, I'll make sure I see John Barrowman. Hey, how's your father anyway? Not giving you too much trouble? Dad, he's... He's down the pub, isn't he? Oh, I told him to go along. He might have enjoyed himself. It's like a second home, that pub. Do you know... If there was a meteor shower or an alien invasion, that's what he'd be. And then he'd come home and wonder what all the fuss was about. Oh, oh I wish I was there. I'd love to have met that John Barrowman. I wish you were here too. We'd have had a great time. Oh, you still can. There's all sorts there. The cast of Red Dwarf. Uh, the guy in the Dark Vader outfit. The General Lee's there too. And they got a prize for the best costume. Well, I can't see me winning the fancy dress competition. Oh, come on. I'm sure you look amazing. Like you've just walked off set. You've remembered to take a photograph of you in your costume for me, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Oh. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. You'll have a great time. And when you see your father, give him a poke from me. Tell him to put his pint down so he can go to the pub at any time. Will do. Oh. You enjoy. Love you, Cariad. Katie Heavitt. Bye now. Hello, sweetie. So, you had your father some chat. Got it all off your chest, it's all sorted now, yeah? Bit of a balls up. Here I was thinking there were tears of joy. You're rubbish at making people feel better, you know that. Just so we're clear, I'm not jumping off the roof. Yeah, don't do that. Not this roof anyway. You'll just end up breaking a few bones and worse than that, you look like a tit, so... You're not a counsellor, are you? You don't work for the Samaritans. No, I work in complaints for an insurance company. You're different from the folk I usually speak to, mind. You're meek and mild. You're sensitive. A bit soft. I think I'll go jump off that roof now. <laughs> you gonna tell me what happened then so I can counsel you in my own unique way? Joking aside, you seem really nice. If I can help, I will. It's my New Year's resolution, doing little things to help others. Started on Monday. It's August. Yeah? Took a few months to prepare. So, reckon if you let me help you, that's my good deeds done for a week at least. Oh, dear's on the bus. <laughs> Screw him. I ain't giving up my seat. It's 
It's my mum. She isn't well. Oh God. I'm sorry, is it serious? Might not be here this time next year, serious. Dad, he'll be helping mum. And he's great like that, really dopes on her. But me, he never bothers with me. Like I've got a spare mum. Keep her under the bed or in the spare room. What really gets my go? No, what really pisses me off is that the one person who's going through the same thing as me, who I should be able to talk to, he acts as if it's another normal day in the Jenkins family. But it's not a normal day. I haven't had one of those since Mum was diagnosed in January. Happy New Year. By the way, your mum might not be here at Christmas. Where will your dad be right now? In a pub somewhere. Knocking him back. I should go and find him. Do you want me to come with you? No, I'll be all right. Like last time. <laughs> me and him need a chat. A good, long chat. Thanks for your help, though. That's okay. Got this thing for needy blokes, it's like a radar. My ex, Christ. Had more issues than every guest in Jeremy Kyle put together. Well, it was nice meeting you. You too. It was fun and great and bonkers, <laughs> really bonkers. <laughs> Bit tubby for a cyber man. Jen, I, um, well, I was sort of, um, I, uh, I was kind of hoping that you and, uh, That'll be for John Barrowman. You don't want to miss him? Yeah, I'd better queue up. He's great, John Barrowman. Got the face of an action man. Know what I mean? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, might see you around later, maybe. Hope all goes well with your dad. Thanks. See you then. Found me then. Well, I just followed the sound of disappointed Cardiff City fans, and it wasn't that hard. Good chat, Sam. Let's Wait, do this again. Dad, come on, sit down, please. What went on earlier? That's not how it was supposed to happen. You know, can you take after my side of the family as far as uh, subtlety goes? <laughs> well, I kind of wanted you to listen. I know. I'm not going to do much of that lately, have I? Our family's not done much of anything. Everyone's on pause right now. Uh, so, I'm no good at this sort of thing. What's that? Talking about me. What's going on in here? It scares me shitless. More than what's happening with Mum? Look, Sam. The thing you've got to remember with me is I've got a PhD in talking on my ass. When I'm, when I'm having a laugh with your mum, what I'm really saying is, no, I'm not all right. Don't know what I'll do without you. And when I'm winding you up, pulling your leg, <laughs> what I'm really saying is I'll have the bones off you. Daft sod. I don't suppose you remember your granddad, do you? No. Well, I was only four when he. No, it's all right. I don't mind talking about this. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, anyway. The driver should have looked where he was going. Dad should have used his brakes. <laughs> 
basic science that if you're going downhill in a wheelchair, always use your brakes. You were a good man, your granddad. Worked every hour, day and night, making sure me and your grandma were looked after. This trouble was, I hardly saw my dad. At dinner, now and again, you know, but to me, he was just some guy sat there, I had to be nice to. I'm not making excuses, son. I know I've been a bit of a rubbish dad. No, you haven't. <laughs> it's nice of you to say. Let me finish. They were my school reports. I'd get a C plus. Could do better. See, when you were born, there weren't any support groups or manuals on how to be a better parent. It's just something you got on with. And I'm in a tight spot. I don't know what to say or do. I tell a joke, have a chuckle. See me right so far. That's why I keep doing it. See, this is why you're stronger than me. I barely hold it together around them. You stop that bollocks right now. You're just as strong as your mother. I'm the funny man. I'll tell a joke. It's easy for me. I do it without thinking. To do what you do. Be normal around it. Hold that all in. I can never do that. Proud of you, son. Nest we are. What are we going to do, Dad? If Mum doesn't make it through, if, if she can't fight this. Your Mum's a strong woman. Clipped me around the head enough times to try and make me see sense. <laughs> Never worked. But what are we going to do? You heard that, Doctor. Two out of ten people survive this. Two out of ten. She's one of those two. She doesn't make it. She goes. It will probably hurt. Forget about when you broke your arm. I mean, really. me every time. You know what? We'll get through it. Do you know why? Because I've got you. <laughs> My camp tad too serious. Mastermind smart. All around spot on sun. We'll help each other. We'll talk to each other. When things get too much. Whatever time of the day it is, wherever you are, from now on, we'll talk. Deal. Deal. Good. Now, you owe the old man a pint. Oh, why is that? So I got this for you and your man. Don't know who the fellow was. Figured he must be someone important. He had that many heavies around him. You know me, I waded in. Got him to write down a little message. Sign his life away. <laughs> John Barrowman. Nice fella. All of them. Cracking teeth. John Barrowman. John bloody Barrowman's autograph. Who? John Barrowman. John Barrowman. Jack Harkness in Doctor Who and Torchwood. West End star. Was the face of Saturday night on BBC One. Like 
of a song. Plenty more women out there, son. Not helping, Dad. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Not now. I asked Mac uh, Becky May out in college, and she ups and goes backpacking around Australia. I always wonder whether that were a coincidence. <laughs> Her mate said it came straight out the blue. And I was going to ask Rosie Wells out. And I catch her snogging Sean Bethan. I mean, we could have at least waited until we were together. <laughs> can't talk to women, Dad. Literally can't. Two things happen when I try and ask a girl out. I choke up, or I shoot my mouth off, filters come off, and I end up sounding like I've been stranded in Anglesey, like some shit Robinson Crusoe. It's like I'm programmed to be single. But with Jen, we just met, and it was like we'd been mates for years. She's funny. Nuts, but funny. Oh, and she's beautiful too, Dad. Like, proper just walked off a film set beautiful. No Photoshop, no heaps of makeup, just lovely. She's lovely and brilliant. Do you understand? Is this getting through to you? I mean, seriously, get your shit together, kal -El, and back the fuck off. Thousands of men and machines sacrificing their lives and barely making a scratch. And then there's me. I can be the only thing standing in the way of total destruction. But there are aliens, spaceships, mighty civilizations that have turned and fled the moment they hear my name. I'm the Doctor. <laughs> <laughs>